We, sh we are currently infiltrating the lair of the deep ones, methinks. Trying to get through the two... What? We're trying to get to Dagon, basically. To stop the ritual and such. Okay, there's another deep one there. Let me just take him out real quick. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is a bit shameful. There we go. Oh, hi. Let me just... Okay. Can't exactly glitch the lock. This. Just take good clean shot at you. Okay, there we go. There's more there, but I'd rather not. Sometimes it's best to avoid enemies. Avoid lose of health. Avoid... Hold on. I know I talk a lot about sequence breaking, but I kinda have to do this one here because I bloody hate each your source. Each your source. I don't know how to spell that. There's a... I sometimes misspell that. There we go. Ooh. If you fall down there, you'll be facing, like I said before, a nature sword. And kind of a bit of a small space here. The only weapon that can shoot underwater is this. Uh, the only weapons that you can use underwater are the knives, obviously, and this. Big giant fish. Small revolver. Yeah, great idea. Not recommended. Not recommended at all. Hello, everyone. Let me just... Let me just... Bye. You just deal with whatever it is that you like to do. I'll just be going to my business. Bye-bye. Until we meet again, dearest deep ones. I hope you had fun doing whatever it is that you, that you do. Also, barnacles. Almost forgot about you. You think you could get behind me, huh? Think again. Another one of these. The boat is highly necessary. Because the waters are also laden with them big fishes, them ichosaurs, highly dangerous. There's another one behind that waterfall. Come on, reload quickly now. There we go. Let me just reload again. The unfortunate thing is that the fish can sometimes block the boat, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Come on, please don't, don't block the boat. Do not block the boat. Just go. Oh no. Really? You're gonna do that? Ah, oh, man. Fine. I didn't like going with the boat anyway. Oh, boy. Glad that I have hundreds of shotguns rounds and revolver rounds, eh? You know, I think it's a good thing, too, that I didn't carry the boat all the way through because at the end of this stream is... A cultist. He's getting a revolver. And the boat can sometimes move around to the point where you can't even aim at the cultist correctly. He usually gets some free shots at you. So I guess it's a blessing in disguise that the teachers are blocks the boat. Let me just sneak around here. Hello. No, 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 no. No, I disagree. The Okay. I still lose blood anyway. No, come back here. You are not reloading. Okay. I guess he managed to reload after all. Well, at least all that blood loss is for no. Let me just do a weapons check here. Reload everything. Excellent. Let's move on. Oh, someone's being sacrificed again. How difficult. Oh, dear. Forgot about you, little buddy. Watch for the unbeliever. Oh yeah, sure. Totally ignore the shotgun fire downstairs. Totally ignore. Yeah, yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah, alone. No! Define alone. No! We could save that guy. Actually, no, we can't save that guy. He's dead. Let's all take a moment to mourn that this guy is, who no! is about to die. Okay, we're done. Okay, hello. They put something inside of me. Yeah. I can feel it moving. I'm just gonna step away. Sorry for your buddy. Allow me to exact retribution by killing the things that are inside of you. Ah, 
<sighs> there we go. Uh, poor guy, poor guy. You know, this is one of the few things that I like about this mod. It gives you, it gives you some memories. Lovely, me lovely memories. And imaginations. Nice things to think about at night. So, about this book. The Enerspliechen Kulten. Sounds like a German word. No idea if it is. Dagon is the favorite, is the favorite child of Cthulhu and oldest of the Deep Ones. He is ancient and potent and may not be harmed by mortal weapons. As a creature of the deep and dark places, he is vulnerable to fire and magic. Man may summon him, but woe to him who arouses the wrath of Dagon. I are Cthulhu. Can you uh, tell what we're about to fight next? Yes, it's big guy, big guy Dagon. Big fishman Dagon. Big man of fish Dagon. As stated by the book, guns are useless against them. The only thing that works is fire and this. Good thing I saved up a bunch of my sanity here because we're gonna start losing him. We are going to start losing him. Hear that? That's him being summoned. Is he actually down here? No, he's not here yet. He'll come here. Oh, hi. Good thing that I uh, went through there. Nope. Cthulhu Fatagan this. I was... Yeah, there we go. Cthulhu Fatagan that. Ha. Nice try. But not quite. Alright, here goes. Do I have like... Wait. Are I supposed to have some Molotov? Did I... Oh, right. I spent the Molotovs. Oh, dear. I'm gonna regret this. Was trying to get a uh, non sanity reduce run. No sanity, no sanity loss run, but I guess we're gonna be losing some sanity. Alright, dread name. We now have our complete spells. This is the only spells that we're gonna be having the entire mod. Some of them useful, the Shriving and Drain Life. Some of them absolutely completely useless, like the dread name. Like, seriously, this is, in my opinion, the most useless of spells because I never use them. Never. Ever. Brethren, a great sin has been committed against us. The criminals known as the Finici Finiciero family have stolen three elder signs from us. We do not know what purposes they have planned for them, but they could cause great damage to us with them. We must recover them. Kill them all. Aya Cthulhu. Right, great read. Fantastic reading, 10 out of 10. We'll wait for the audiobook. Oh dear. Alright. Here goes nothing. Hello, excuse me, just passing through. Okay, that, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, let's see if I can wake him in with the dynamite. That's one. Okay. Here's another throw. Right, Joe. Another one. Yeah, not enough to weaken him. I'm gonna have to use shriveling. Not enough. Okay, there we go. It's enough. When you weaken Dagon enough, the whole barn catches on fire. Barn? Warehouse. Warehouse. Yep, time to get out of here. Time to loosen the place of unfortunate things. Yep, Dagon can just burn. Yep, that's how Dagon is killed. Fire. Accidental fire from dynamite. Come on. Straight to the water. Yep. There we go, he's dead. Oh boy, one hell of a fight, eh? Can you 
this year of famine for the Moblin Arca. What did they fit into all of this? No idea, Randall. Guess we're gonna find out. Ooh, the mob. This is an interesting chapter. Mostly because you fight gangsters here. Yeah, see? You fuckers gangsters, yeah! I don't know how to do that kind of accent, sorry. That was probably shameful. Anywho, yeah, the Finnish Yara family, located here. If you listen closely, you can hear them talk about pizza. Watch out for the heat. Ah, there it is. Yeah, nobody here but us. Yeah, nobody yeah, here but us. Your eyes peeled. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. You want some pasta? What's your cut? What's your cut? Not enough. Yeah, well, gangsters, hey, see? You know what's going down? You know what's going down? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know, just look up. Does the weather look odd to you, buddy? No. I doubt it. Okay, let's trigger the attack. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, that note is... The cultists are true to their words. They're definitely trying to kill them all. Yep. Gonna have to immediately hide. Oh, he just had to jump down. Hopefully the police guard that are guarding the area can wipe them up. There they are. There we go. Take cover. Wait it out. I'm, I'm just gonna wait it out. There's a bunch of cultists, a bunch of gangsters, some of them carrying Tommy guns. Not very fun to fight. Not very fun to fight. 